robinframer.net is my website. And today I want to share with you something that the Lord said to me uh, about prayer. Um, I was looking on Facebook and I get kind of frustrated when I'm on Facebook when people make prayer requests. Not at the prayer request but at the answers because they say things like um, praying or you're on the prayer chain or okay I'll keep you in mind or uh, you know just praying and how many times when you tell somebody that you're praying for them are you really praying for them and that kind of frustrates me um, because prayer is not a ritual prayer is what we do to enforce God's will on earth and what's his will on earth his will on earth is like it is in heaven is there sickness disease poverty lack fear destroying weather in heaven no and God gave all authority and dominion to man now in his sovereignty he gave all dominion and authority to man we rule on this earth as sub leasers of, of earth after a certain time period then God gets the earth the leases up and God gets the earth back but until then we're the authority and the dominion that's supposed to rule on the earth through Jesus. So, praying is an act of dominion. It's not a ritual that we do and hope that uh, God answers us. Uh, I'm going to get my water over here. I'm out of the picture. Okay, uh, praying is not a wishy-washy thing. You just pray because it's the right thing to do. You pray... it's um, your God-given right and what happened is in, in the beginning we had fellowship with God and he gave us authority and dominion to rule over the earth and then man disobeyed God and ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil so then he experienced good and evil um, by eating from that fruit the result is fruit from that tree more seeds and more harvests of good and evil he already knew good but now he was experiencing evil um, so then when Jesus went to the cross he bought back from us everything that was originally God's desire on the earth for us to have so we now have that authority and dominion back um, because of the blood of Jesus so if you look at like Ephesians uh, 3 I believe it is it's one of my favorite scriptures but uh, I think it's Ephesians 3 10 11 12 I'm not sure it says that God was giving us this wisdom so that we would make known that the church would make known to the principalities powers and dominions in heavenly places um, what his eternal purposes are that he accomplished in Christ Jesus and I think that's an awesome life-changing scripture so our goal is to make known to the principalities and powers what God's will is and that's heaven on earth and what he accomplished in Christ Jesus well what did he accomplish in Jesus um, by the stripes uh, by the stripes of Jesus we have been healed on the cross he took the stripes for our sickness disease weakness pain sorrows and griefs and he carried all that for us and he became a curse in Galatians 3.13 so that we, Christ, Christ became a curse so that we would receive the blessings of Abraham and the promise of the Holy Spirit. So the promise, so the Holy Spirit is what he accomplished. He gave us the Holy Spirit which empowers us, um, helps us pray, teaches us, leads us, guides us, and so on. The Holy Spirit does that. He also uh, gave us the promise of the blessings of Abraham. And that is prosperity and rich and riches and prosperity physical prosperity in every area of your life in every way possible um, what and, and so many other things he, cre he he accomplished on the cross Jesus became poor that we through his poverty might be made rich so there's prosperity again so you take all these things that Jesus accomplished on the cross which are all throughout the Bible and then you enforce them your job is an ambassador and enforcer you create judgment and justice and righteousness on this earth we are made righteous and right with God 
through the blood of Jesus. So we make things right that Jesus made right. We bring captive every thought to the obedience of Jesus. Um, for example, um, for healing, you would pray. You wouldn't say, God, please heal this person because he already did. They have to receive it and the principalities and powers and whatever, the sickness of cancer, whatever, that is on that person, you have to speak to that spirit and command it to leave. So you pray more something like, um, in Jesus' name, I take authority over the spirit of cancer and I command you to leave from this body in Jesus' name. And then you would speak to the body parts that were damaged by that cancer and you would say, I speak a creative miracle in Jesus' name um, on their pancreas, let's say. And everything connected with the pancreas, you know, you might name it and say, I speak a creative miracle of a new pancreas uh, into their body. And then you thank God for it because he's already did it. And like he said to me one day, he says, why do you ask me for that again when you already asked it for me? Do, don't you believe that I gave it to you already? And so when you ask more than once for something he's already given you, you're saying, I don't believe that you're, I believe you're a liar. I don't see it, so you lied, so you didn't give it to me, therefore I have to pray again. No, you begin to thank him and praise him for doing it for you and for giving it to you. And that's what brings about the manifestation. Then you say to the person, you know, if they're in pain, and you prayed for them, you say, now, what can you do now that you couldn't do before? Um, and you try to get them, like if their leg was hurting, you try to say, are you in pain now? Then you pray for them. After you pray for them, you say, are you still in pain? Can you move your leg in a way you couldn't move it? So you see, prayer is taking dominion. Prayer is taking authority. Prayer is releasing God's will and the angels on earth like they are in heaven to do his will. And you just need to get in the Bible and find out what God's will is. And then you need to take that and pray with power, commanding power, authority, and dominion. Not we would be, if it be your will, oh God, please do this. Oh, you know, it's, it's not that. God takes pleasure in faith. And when you stand up in faith and pray for people with commanding authority and dominion, and you know who you are, and you command those spirits of sickness and disease to leave, or poverty, or whatever, that pleases God. That brings about results. That changes lives, and it's so exciting. So I hope I haven't gone in a lot of different rabbit trails and just trying to get across to you that you have power and authority to change this 